State officials say the use of e-cigarettes is growing, especially among teens. Now, Indiana lawmakers and the state attorney general are looking to reverse the trend. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports legislation could be introduced as early as Tuesday. Brittany? Dan, while selling e-cigarettes to minors is already illegal, the new legislation could mean taxes on vapor products and state permits for stores that sell them. Some users and sellers of e-cigarettes say they're prepared for the changes. Brian Carger smoked cigarettes for years. But he quit, and now he smokes liquid nicotine out of a vaporizer. You don't really realize how offensive cigarette smoke really is until you quit and you're around another smoker. E-cigarettes refer to devices which use a battery to heat and vaporize liquid nicotine, which is then inhaled. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, in 2014, one in six high schoolers said they regularly use an electronic nicotine product. It's the first year that more teens smoked e-cigarettes than traditional cigarettes. So we're here today to uh, stop this trend in its tracks, and uh, we all refuse to stand by as a new generation gets hooked on, a, on nicotine. The proposed legislation, which has bipartisan support, would tax vapor products like a regular cigarette. It would also include e-cigarettes in the statewide smoking ban. It would also require vape shops to be licensed to sell e-cigs. That would give the state more authority to cite for violations including selling to minors. Finally, it would require child-resistant packaging for e-liquid containers. If that's the case, we'll follow all the rules. West Lafayette smoke shop manager George Ransom says having to get a permit would be the biggest change for his store. He says they're already prepared to keep e-liquid out of the hands of children. We already got bottles in that are child safety proof and everything. I think that's actually a really good idea. As for Carger, he says the proposed tax will impact him. Probably may not be shelling out some more bucks. The proposed taxes would amount to 24% of the cost of an e-cigarette. The money would be used to support the state's tobacco cessation program. Brittany Tyner, News 18. All right, Brittany, thanks. Dangerous exposure to e-liquids has also skyrocketed. According to the American Association of Poison Control Centers, the number of calls has gone up more than 600% in two years, from 460 calls in 2012 to more than 2,700 in just the first eight months of 2014.